This video was created by Utah students for assignment purposes. Now, let's check out the recent situation of retail industry in Malaysia. From the political perspective, Bangladesh Malaysia has consecutively increased the overnight policy rate to 2.5%, which result in a hike in monthly installment payments. Retailers' ride prices cover their liabilities and lead to fewer buyers and a lesser contribution to the Malaysian economy. On the other hand, from economic perspective, digitalization has lowered the employment rate in Malaysia and this provides more Malaysians with employment opportunities when companies transform into digital mixed role companies. This is because digitalization has made many companies need more employees to maintain daily operations. Next, from social aspects, Malaysia is a multiracial nation and the diversity of culture makes Malaysian to have different preferences, which is the main social factors affecting the retail industry. Retailers cannot decide their products on a whim. Market research and consumer behavior are the key factors to boost profit, and it will be easier when it comes to digitalization. Lastly, from technological aspects, the retail industry uses technological advanced inventory management powered by the AI to spot demand patterns. This provides accurate real-time data for demand forecasting and improving preparation for warehouse restocking that reduce supply chain errors. Now, let's look at an example of successful digital transformation of Pacific White Sandran Berhad, which is one of the leading one-stop office supplies and solution providers, importers and distributors. They already have 10 years and above experience in B2B e-commerce platform, like their own website. They started to transform digitally as they are thinking how to rapidly grow the online platform. During MCO, it had made them suffer, but due to the digitalization, there was a huge increase in sales on Shopee. However, they still required further improvement on the current technology and skills. For the purpose of this case study preview, we'll be honored with an interview with Mr. Sebastian Ko, Digital Marketing Executive from Pacific Wise. What kind of data they use for analysis purpose? Firstly, is impression. It's like consumer click into the website. They will categorize the funnel on the customer journey from A to Z. If the consumer click into an advertisement, it's called cost per click, a metric that determines how much advertisers pay for the advertisement they place in online platform based on number of clicks. Thirdly, it's click-to rate, which reflects the degree of certain content on a web page and is often used to measure the attractiveness of advertisement. How they collect the data? They use AutoCount, which is an accounting software to collect transaction data through the online platform and physical store. And also Facebook Pixel is the second approach. They use Facebook Pixel to analyze the visitor on the pages. And they also extract some data from Shopee and convert them into their website. How they analyze the data and turn it into insights. They use the data to plan some campaigns and focuses on the process of the campaign. They analyze the data to see the number of customers, the size of customer purchases and the frequency of customer revisit. Therefore, they can diagnose the solutions for improvement. What is the result of data analysis? It provides the duration of viewers watching their video that helps them to filter out the content that customers are more interested in to improve the business performance and helps them to filter out the right poll to go when they launch a new campaign by providing data on the number of participants and spending of participants to increase the sales and profits. This is the successful digital transformation example from the retail industry. Thank you for watching.